green. Hey, everyone, everyone. Um, I, I'm sorry for the delay. Brother Green should be here right now, and he will be here any moment. But if you could please, please just, um, please calm down. Please settle down. Please, I know that it's just me right now, but everyone just shut. Stop talking. Everyone just stop. Hey, 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 I, hey, I don't, hey, I, hey, 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 hey. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. I am so late to the service. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry that I'm so late to the service, everybody. I had I had some religious documents that I was reviewing um, for the service. Um, I'm so sorry, Brother Beard. My apologies. Um, no, 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 uh, no, no. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Gormu. My apologies, Gormu. I was actually trying to prep some financial documents to... Um, so what you're saying is you, you think that our financial documents, money, is more important than actually praise, praising his name, praise B? This is just I, I, this is just a completely unacceptable, Brother Green. Uh, but again, I'm not mad. Gormu is the one who's mad. But, you know, let's just... Uh, we have a whole congregation here. Let's just move past it. So, um, I'm sorry, everybody. Welcome everyone in. Listen, I, I, I had some W-2s to sign and Gormu is... No, ver- is ver- no, no one cares about the W-2s. Welcome people. Okay, and- I'm sorry. They, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fellowship Covenant. Uh, this is our church. My name is Brother Green. Um, to my side here is, is my trusty co-prophet, Brother Beard. And this is our church. We worship a god named Gormu, and we are here yes. to purge our sins and talk about the good word of our god. If it's your first time in the church, we want to give you a warm, warm welcome. For the record, I was here on time, and Brother Green was not, so that's going to get me um, some Gormu points. Just so <laughs> There's we're, no such I thing just, as I, Gormu points. What are you talking about? Of course there are Gormu points. You have to, you have to <laughs> rack up Gormu points in order to be in his you favor, Brother Green. You never brought Brother that Green. up to me. What are you even talking about? Gormu? You're telling, are you serious? Are Gormu points a real thing? Of course, Gour- Gormu points are a real... How would he rack up our standing in his favor if there weren't Gormu points? Uh, that's actually a good point. You clearly... You probably haven't even been uh, fellowshipping with Gormu throughout the week, have you? Dude, You've I've just been, been fellowship- looking at your documents. I've- oh, oh, I'm looking at my W-2 and my, and my N-94. No. And- okay, well, let's just talk about it then. I'm the one between the two of us at the church. You're hanging out with Gormu all the time. But I'm the one that's actually running this church. I had to fi- I had to sign the lease. I had to have the the the, the real estate agent come in, and th- and I had to answer all these questions, and they laughed at me. But the- but we had you know exorbitant amounts of money, so of course they let us use this this facility. But I, I spend all week stressing about this stuff while you hang out with Gormu, and you get to learn all about Gormu points, and you get to obtain Gormu points and spend them all you want. But what? And, but I, I get left in the dust here. I think what you're missing here is that laziness is a virtue in Gormu's eyes. Gormu wants us to be lazy. He wants us to be laying around all day, uh, pr- praising him and having Gormu visions. He doesn't want us to be worried about <laughs> earthly things. Yeah, maybe the church will get foreclosed on, and maybe we'll uh, yeah. get sued for tax evasion. That doesn't matter. Those aren't the things you should be concerning yourself with, Brother Green. You should uh, be concerning yourself with spending as much time as possible in fellowship with Gormu. Dude, I am just saying, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying, I was literally just outside the front of the church because, like, the IRS was there to shut us down. And I basically, I I had to, you know, kill them, all three of them, with my words. Okay, I yell, no, I, with my words, oh, I yelled okay. them off the front of, I, like, murdered them, you know, Reddit, r slash murdered by words. It's a subreddit for people you, at home. Explain to the people what a Reddit is. Can we please get on with the sermon, Brother Green? <sighs> that, okay, that's fine. Um, anyways, welcome. Um, Just to praise- be clear, we did not murder any government agents. We would never do anything ridiculous like that. Just I know. So Did I even be. say that? Praise be. I know. I'm just. I'm just being extra clear. All right. Okay. Praise be. Anyways, today is going to be a very exciting sermon. It's our third sermon. I didn't even think we'd make it this far, and so many people showed up last week. A lot of people who are yeah. like, who are like, 
not who just didn't ride with us to the second week, but we held on to a lot of people, a lot more than I yeah. thought. And so the fact that you guys keep showing up. Unfortunately, less people last week than the first week because a lot of people are heretics, obviously, yeah, who don't uh, don't care about Gormu. But a lot of people did come back and did show that they really do love Gormu. Yeah, and a lot more than Gormu thought, too. He is very self-conscious about that kind of stuff. He does not like mm. the algorithm or worrying about views or anything. So it made him very happy that he had that kind of turnout. Anyways, it's going to be a great episode today. Just to give you a teaser, of course, we're going to have some crazy confessions. The best ones we've had yet are at the end of this episode. Sister Sid has really cooked us up a mean confession casserole this Sunday. And I'm very excited for it. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about the news. We have some controversy in the air surrounding some, some naughty streamers, and we have a lot to say about it. We also have a big announcement about next week. And also, the biggest thing, the most important thing about today... Oh, I'm so excited. Do you want to tell the people? I'm so excited. Eee! I'm I'm gorm I'm gorming with with joy. Yeah, I'm gorm I'm li- I'm about to gorm. <laughs> it is absolutely insane that I can't even believe this is happening. Usually, in in most religions, it takes thousands of years, millennia, before you get to gaze upon the image of your God. But here, only three weeks in. Yeah. Are there any other religions that can say three weeks in you get to gaze on the face of Gormu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. We no. don't hate other religions. We're um, just yeah. saying that we're better than you, objectively. And obviously, um, if you're so, whatever, that's not a bad thing to say. Everybody who is a religion, everyone who is a religion is going to think everyone else is is not worse than them as people. We don't think that. We just think your religion yeah. is worse than our religion. And don't you think the same thing? that's just part of having a religion. You're Come not going to have a religion anyway. and be like, my religion sucks compared to yours. What? That doesn't make any sense. Just join that religion then. Yeah. Join the one who that's good. Yeah. Gormu, Which is Gormism. us. That's literally us. Yeah. But today, we are going to gaze on the face Woo! of Gormu. Yeah. We, he sent us a are, photo. We are, all, we are all gays here, and we are all going to gaze on Gormu. I don't think you could say that can't say what that we're all gays no because heterosexuality is a sin so obviously we believe that the default uh, is to be gay yeah. you're, you're not you're, you're not actually heterosexual you're just a gay who struggles with heterosexual temptation i don't know if i could agree with that brother beard i feel like that's kind of a um it's kind of a dangerous road for me personally to go down and say no, okay I'm- okay 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 i take it back gormu just gave me a vision that uh, that wasn't true <laughs> Gormu just gave you one? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, he, he just sent me he just sent me a real quick vision. It was really fast. See, but that's what happens. I have been fellowshipping with Gormu so much that he can send me quick bite-sized visions. You're still in the baby stage where Dude, you have to yeah. lay down and get big visions. I'm sorry that I'm doing doing business and I have a and I have a job. You just sit you just go and hang out and have Gormu visions all day. I I I just can't like we there's it's just yes, us who yeah, run we, the church. No, we already established that that is holy in Gormu's name. I know, so we but don't we need to go back over this. We literally can't keep the church going. I know. We... Sh- come on, come on, let's keep going. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, anyways, we do have like Gormu sent us a photo, which has never happened before in religion. That's never happened. Name one never. time it's happened where the god has sent his two prophets an actual an actual digital photo. Yeah, we have a modern religion where our God sends us pics, and that doesn't usually happen. So you should all be praising, praise be right now, that you're going to get to gaze on Gormu. All right, everybody, let's start our opening prayer before we get farther into the service. Are you ready, Brother Beard? Of course, everyone, don't forget to keep your eyes open, do not blink. And two fingers up, and here we go. Oh, Lord Gormu, thank you for uh, having everyone gather here today to look upon your Hashtag Gormu Bod. I really appreciate everything you've done for me this week, and the Gormu visions were great, but I'd love to have more in the future. But obviously, it's just on your own time, and whatever you need to do is what you got to do. Anyways, I hope that uh, that we have a great service today. Please help my eyes to be better at opening up. Oh, obviously, that's something I need to work on on my own. I shouldn't blame that on you. Anyways, that's it. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks, Gormu. Thanks. Praise be. Praise be. That's another thing I've been doing. I'll I'll regularly spend um, hours a day just gazing straight into the sun. 
Uh, Gormu told me that that will help train my eyes so that I don't have to blink during prayers. So now when I'm just looking at the congregation without blinking, it's incredibly easy because I've trained them by looking at the sun. What I'm saying is everyone go outside and look at the sun right now. Wow, just yeah, kidding. that don't seems... That. that Brother Beard, that just seems a little bit dangerous. I don't know. He didn't tell me anything about that, but that's totally fine, Okay. That's it's okay. Fun. I mean, if you if you want to have weak eyes and be blinking and crying every time you pray, then sure. But I have been training my eyes uh, in the in the image of Gormu, so that's okay. all I'm saying. That's fine. No, that's fine. I get it. We do things different ways. That's fine. Let's just move on, okay? For the people at home, once we're done with this service, we're gonna end. We're gonna end as usual with doing confession. And if you want to continue to watch confessions, we're gonna do a couple more in the post-service show over on Patreon.com/fcpodcast. It's only a two-dollar tithe. We ask you to give two dollars to the church. Nothing more, nothing less, because Gormu likes to keep it simple. Okay, he gets a little mm. too freaked out when there's more things going on okay and we've already got about a couple hundred patrons over there who are a part of the fellowship covenant who get to watch the bonus episodes where we really open up our souls and spill spill to the fellowship it is true fellowship over there yeah basically how it works in this fellowship is you know, watching the podcast episode is like you standing outside gazing into the church. And then when you subscribe, that's you being let into the inner sanctum. But then when you follow the Patreon, <laughs> that's being let into the inner, inner sanctum. Uh, and if you want to do like a side sanctum, we have a Twitter community that we started. And the link to that will be below. It's basically just like a Twitter feed of a bunch of people who are part of the Fellowship Covenant praising Gormu. Brother Beard and I are on there asking questions every day. And finally, big news for all of our all of our Spotify listeners. We are now officially on mm. Spotify. Episodes should be up every single Sunday, the same as the video. And the links will be down below. If you can go on Spotify, it's super easy to give a five-star review. And if we can get to like a thousand reviews, right now we have like 50 or 100 or something. If we can get to a thousand I, I mean, Gormu's going to want to show us more of that hashtag Gormu bot after this. Let me just tell you that. Much. Oh, yeah. He's, he said he's going to give some exclusive picks to us if we can get a thousand <laughs> reviews on Spotify. Yeah, dude. Basically, there's just a bunch of places that you can follow <laughs> yeah. the church. <laughs> um, there are other things you can do. You can go stand on the side of the street and hold up a sign and say, Praise be Gormu. Yeah. Go watch the Fellowship Covenant podcast. That's another thing you can do to support us. Yes. Um, you can also... Yeah, just go down to your bank and start yelling, Gormu, Gormu, Gormu. You know, these are all options. Yeah, or if you, on Sundays when you're watching this service, if you take a picture of you watching the service and put it on your Instagram story and tag, you know, Mr. Beard Official or Nick is Not Green or at Fellowship Covenant, then we will probably repost you on our story. And that's that's great fellowship right there is reposting someone on their story. Gormu loves that shit. The other thing you can do is dig a hole through to the bottom of the earth and dig it back yes, up on the other side talking. in Asia and then tell a bunch of people over there about Gormu because we don't really know how to reach them, actually. And the final, final announcement that I have is that next week we have a fellow sibling, another Gormite, flying out to the church to be our first guest priest here at the church. To they're, They are going to... Spread the seed with us, along with us in fellowship. And I'm so excited. This religion is spreading faster than we could have ever predicted. Um, some, even other commentary channels have completely devoted their lives to Gormu, which is just so incredible. And we're so excited to have them. So stay on the lookout for updates on that. Yeah. Once we announce that, it's going to break the Gormu net. That's the internet that Gormu <laughs> uses in his house. He doesn't use the actual yeah. internet. He had to make his own internet because he's God, of course. It's clearly a better, superior internet. Yeah. yeah, he's still struggling on the name with the patent and everything because Gormunet, a lot of people don't like the way that rolls off the tongue. It sounds awkward. Personally, love the name. Could not be yeah. any any better for me. Pretty much if you just add the word, if you just add Gormu to any word, it just improves the word. Exactly. Just in general. Exactly. Um, so before we get to the big photo... 
uh, in our Twitter community, we actually had people who who were trying to draw some fan art of Gorman, which he loves, especially because no one knows what he looks like yet. And so we just wanted to take a look at some of those and shout out some people who are really making some good art and praising Gormu in the best way they can, the fine arts. Okay, so the first one we're gonna look at is by at Gormulations <laughs> and it's Sister Bella who says, praise be my interpretation of Gormu. We've got a great photo here that looks like Gormu sitting on like a little cloud type thing, holding up some fingers mm. perhaps. It looks like one hand is doing the praise bean, the other is doing like a flip, flip you off, which is pretty punk rock. Definitely the type of thing Gormu would do. Um, the the image is a bit a bit more human than Gormu actually is, but I'd say if you're just kind of making an assumption of what Gormu would look like if Gormu was a human, then I think that's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, and we definitely need to make sure we um, we fully explain you know, the visuals of this, because now we have audio listeners for the first time. And luckily, we are a very audio podcast, you know? We don't show a lot of things mm -hmm. on the screen. We just have our sultry voices preaching the good seed. But next up, let's look at, at a very smart troll, MJ, who says, Hashtag Gormbod, Gormu and his pet snail shall bring unto the world the shadow of thine divine cloak, swallowing the moon and the stars until he's just a little full. Gormulations 1452. So it seems like MJ sort of tried to create a verse of the Gormu Chronicles, which is cute. Yeah, you know? ju uh, just, so, just so we're clear, though, uh, the, the priests are the only ones who can uh, preach verses from the holy text. Yeah. But that, as far as a fan, as far as a fan <laughs> fiction verse, that was pretty good. Yeah, I went pretty hard. I don't I didn't know. I'm, I'm interested in the snail part of it. Um, it is yeah. a very interesting image, you know, it's a very different but form. But Gormu definitely approves of fan fictions. Um, if you want to write different fan fictions about Gormu, he's really into that. Yeah. And before the last Gormu picture, I did just want to highlight a tweet by at JB Do, who said in the Twitter community, my piss has been read for three weeks now, and I was thinking about seeing a urologist. But after listening to the latest podcast episode, I realized it's just read from all the sin I've been doing. Praise be to Gomu. <laughs> I think the biggest sin you've been doing is uh, not <laughs> spelling Gormu's name correctly. Yeah. Um, but I'm so happy. To, uh, we need to hear some updates to hear if their piss clears up once they stop sinning. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, praise be. Praise be for sure. Also, I've seen some people, there's some religious discourse around Gormism lately where some people feel like it might be bad not to capitalize Gormu's name. But I want to say that in a vision, Gormu told me he is very self-conscious of his problematic power position as a god. And so he actually mm -hmm. does not care whether or not people capitalize his name. Um... You know, he finds it a bit weird if you defend it too much because he feels like it puts him on a pedestal and that can create an unhealthy god to, you know, Gormite balance. That's really awesome that he cares about that type of thing. <laughs> yeah, he cares a it lot is, about it. It is pretty interesting trying to, to find that balance between being the god who uh, commands our every single, uh, you know, thing that we do, but also being humble at the same time, which is really amazing that yeah. he is that way. <laughs> That's sick. This is a drawing from Leia u 3 u who says, During today's service, Gormu's presence was so strong between me that I believe to have seen a glimmer of his true form. Here's the vision I had of hashtag Gormu Bod. I do believe Gormu may have multiple forms, but this is the one that was brought onto me. Praise be. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. And that I, is truly <laughs> magnificent. I, I think we also noticed while looking at this that, that Gormu does have a cock ring in this photo. Hmm. Which As is, Gormu would, yeah. obviously. We will have to censor that. We're going to leave a light censor on that for the podcast. But of course, you you know you can check out the drawing in the in the community uh, if you want the full uncensored version for a completely free price. Gormu does not believe in putting putting. This is not a photo. This is not a real photo of Gormu, though. Okay. I I do want to confirm that Gormu does have these things called. Gormu has these things called formus. 
and they're the different forms that he takes. He does have an he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does have his G form, which is his Gormu form, which is what we are going to see today as his original his yeah, his holy, you know, just what th- this is going to be raw Gormu. And in other we'll talk about other forms later. Um, but for now, you know, the only Formu that we know is Gormu. Thank you for clarifying that, Brother Green. Yeah, I know that's a lot to throw at you guys, but it is what it is. Um, okay, well, whew, I, we've been holding it off for long enough. Are you nervous? I think I'm ready. Okay. I think I'm ready. We've seen all of these hypothetical drawings, but now we are ready to see what Gormu actually looks like. All right, I'm going to put it up onto the screen. Brother Beard, whatever happens here today, you know, you know, I'm I'm just excited that people get to see what we've been seeing for a long time. Do you think this is something where when people gaze upon the image of Gormu, they might uh, die? <laughs> or do you think no, like the dude? What the hell? What you thought? People I don't might know. Die I don't know. Looking at it. Well, it might be so powerful. We just need to give a, a warning that, you know, the image of Gormu might be so powerful. It might cause, probably not death, but maybe it'll seriously change you. So if you don't want to be seriously changed and altered, uh, then you might want to click off. Dude, it's just because... a JPEG. It's literally just a JPEG he sent us. Yeah, but gazing <laughs> on the image of Gormu? <laughs> this is like, I mean, this is a serious thing. I know, I just don't think he'd send us an image that causes violence. He doesn't like that. No, it's not violence. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's like... awe. It's utter awe and shock. <laughs> yeah, utter okay, awe. Okay, well, and hold then, on uh, to your beguilement. seats, everybody. Hold on to your seats. Yeah. Apparently, we're all going to die when we see this photo. <laughs> Listen, I'm just excited <laughs> no, as you, Brother Beard. I'm just saying, like... That's a crazy thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> they pro- they probably won't die. Let's be honest. You probably won't die. I'm just trying to let you know. Just be ready. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three, Gormu. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. That is a hard photo to see, to be honest. It, it is the way light works up there, I think, is different. So this is, like, the best photo we could get. But you can see... His silhouette, um, you might see these little these little devil guys flying around him. Those are just some of Gormu's friends. But if you can see on the couch, mm-hmm. you can see his silhouette right there with his with his big his big circular shell, which is crazy. That's the first time I can say that. That Gormu has a shell. Um, and his big his big round shiny head. <laughs> wow. This is truly amazing. And we're getting to actually see inside of Gormu's house. You can see that wow, yeah. uh there's a lot of cans laying around. There's some food on the table there. Uh, he looks like he has an old-timey telephone. <laughs> Gormu is a little bit behind the times as far as technology goes, we as we've uh, established. We're talking about how he's, send, he's sending us. We were like, oh, we have a modern religion because he's up with the time, so he's sending us pics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess he's kind of... Maybe he's just a little... He enjoys retro yeah. while also being up with the times. Maybe he just likes the I guess that is style. a bit of a contradiction. But yeah, yeah. This, is, this is Gormu's... His main room. This is Gormu's room. And he's got a praise be poster. He's got a kitchen. His main room is sort of like a living room. It's not like a... Be- like, it's it's a big frat house. There's not really... It's an open floor plan kind of everywhere. So this is like the main floor. You can see the kitchen in the back. We have a ceiling fan. He's got pizza on the table. Soda. I mean, it's a complete, it's a complete hang spot. And to anyone who's thinking, wow, Gormu kind of looks like Knuckles from that eight, uh, 2018 uh, <laughs> Dude, Knuckles why meme. Dude, even bring that up? Dude. <laughs> to anyone saying that, no, he doesn't. You got is- Knuckles? <laughs> Yeah, he does not look no, like Ugandan he, Knuckles. We've seen him in real no. life. This might be a silhouette of him, but he does he does not look like Ugandan <laughs> Knuckles. <laughs> he doesn't look like him. No. Um, no, not at all. Gormu is very different. Yeah. Uh, just just to be clear, just to get ahead of the controversy that I can already feel brewing. Yeah. And if you guys want to see the full quality photos of this online, we'll be posting them everywhere, all over social media. So if you want a nice clean picture of of Gormu, you know, it will get better. I promise. He, we're figuring out how to set the cameras up there. It's kind of a little screwed up, especially because you know he's sending it through these visions and stuff. But I think for what we got, this is like this is pretty awesome. You know, 
And I love the praise. Yeah, I don't school. know why anyone would complain about getting like. What? What do you expect? This is one of the most amazing images ever, like shown to humanity. Yeah. You're not going to complain that it's not high def enough. It's not in 4K. Like, it goes come so on, hard. I mean, look at it. That's crazy. And I do think if it were more high def, people probably would die. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. <laughs> Dude, well, if it's a J, I just don't think if it's like a JPEG image, like it's gonna. I'm sorry, I just I don't, don't feel like it's in the cards, but that's fine. I mean, it, it's not, so luckily we don't have to worry about that. That photo is beautiful. We'll come back around to it at the end because you know we're gonna be. Th this is like this is kind of everything right now. This is the best, the biggest document I think that any religion has ever received from their god, and we've got it right here. And so we got to hang that bad boy up in the church. I mean, we're going to, we got to do like prints of it or something. I mean, this is beautiful. Anyways, let's move on. Okay. Let's talk about hot, hot, hot goss. <laughs> we love talking about hot goss here at the church, right? Yep. We sure do. We love spilling the tea. And lately now we've been hard at work. Or I've been hard at work on the church and you've been hard at work having Gormu visions. And so we don't really know a lot about the Which news. are both important. We yeah, wouldn't be able to be preaching important. Gormu's word if I wasn't having Gormu visions. Yeah. So continue. If I was on Twitter scrolling and reading about, uh, about Twitch, you know, Twitch, Twitch yeah. this and Twitch that. I don't know what that means because I'm so busy doing all the paperwork to start this church and you're so busy you know, laying in bed and having Gormu visions. Um, yeah. Basically, we we heard through the grapevine there's some sort of controversy going on with a bunch of Twitch streamers. Um, all I'm going to say is that all of these, like, petty dramas, these worldly things that these people are struggling with, just imagine if all of these Twitch streamers would just be doing streams of them reading the Gormu Chronicle. Do yeah. you think that, do you think that there would be all this controversy of like, oh, this person said this and this person said that? If everyone was just always reading the Gormu Chronicle on every social media, yeah. then what would there be to, to like, what controversy would there be, you know? No, there's all these guys like this this mist gift guy. I don't know what his deal is, but he's he's too busy saying all these slurs, saying these bad things when he could be just having Gormu visions and praising the good word of Gormu and purging his sin. But instead, they have to do all this goofy stuff and put themselves out there in these bad ways. Guys, if you just stop doing anything except for praising Gormu, you're not going to get into trouble, okay? You're not yeah. going to have these controversies because that's There are why literally there are no slurs in the Gormu Chronicle. I can promise you that. No, there's not a single one, man. There's not a single one. Mm. And that's why Ryan and I are so perfect and we don't have any controversies and we don't, no one disagrees with anything we say because all we do is praise <laughs> Gormu and there's nothing really to say about it. Yeah, no one has ever criticized either of us for anything. No, not at all. Except, except the heretic of the week, obviously. But, but yeah, of course we're going to get there. But with that, I think we should head into today's sermon woo, 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 woo. today we are gonna preach some verses and i'm excited to preach today brother beard oh i'm so excited do uh who who preached first last week i think it was me right yeah so, so uh, i can preach first this yeah week. let me send you let me send you your verse are you excited for this verse i think it's really i think it's gonna really be very uh it's gonna grab a lot of people in the audience mm. okay i'm very excited I'm sending it now. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Gormustan, chapter one, verse one. I hate musicals, screamed Gormu, for he hates musicals. That that was a great verse. What do you think about that, Brother Beard? Thank you for thank you for saying that. Um, this is very interesting. Um, I I guess I I had never had this vision before. I guess Gormu just uh has something wrong with the beautiful art form of people uh, coming on stage and singing songs. And I don't know, I guess I'm just a bit confused by this because I feel like what we're doing here is kind of like a musical. We're, <laughs> you know, uh, talking about Gormu and we're singing his praise and we're up on stage and talking, you know. I feel like so if this I, is a musical to you, then like a lot of other things are musicals to you. <laughs> Like that is a crazy <laughs> that is like a crazy stretch to get to saying this is a musical. I'd say what we're doing right now would qualify as a musical. We haven't even Anytime sung a single song yet. 
Gormu, Gormu. I have sang uh, little songs. That's tough. Um, he probably just doesn't like it when it's scripted because then it feels fake. And, you know, he more prefers when it's off the cuff. So I understand that. Um, yeah. And I just want to, I, I will repent. I have uh, participated oh, really? in, this, in the sin of musicals before. Yeah. I, um, this is actually, I think this might be the first time I'm having to confess one of my sins. Wow. Uh, which is really, it is a very humbling experience. I have felt very superior to you these past few weeks, oh, but wow. now I'm... I'm feeling like I'm finally kind of descending down from my cloud of superiority and uh, kind of dining with the common man. Um, well, I, I mean, this one is kind <laughs> of not really like... Gormu just hates musical. It's like mine was legitimately like felt like targeted at me. This is just something that you mu- did a while ago in the past. So I'm like... and he di- Yeah, and he didn't even say it's a sin to do musicals. He just says no, he, he hates just them. doesn't like them. It's not a sin. <laughs> he just like... I oh, think, okay. Yeah, and he also hasn't... Uh, he hasn't seen any. He was telling me. He just thought that like the oh, idea. Oh, he just of them hates the annoying. idea of them. Yeah, because oh. he saw he he sometimes sees like theater kids show up to his house, and he just like does not. I don't know. I it's not my choice. Like I, I there's a lot of musicals I enjoy. I mean, La La Land is one of the best movies I've ever seen. You know. Uh huh. Um, no, theater kids can be kind of annoying and can bring down the vibe. So I understand why Gormu would feel this way. Um. But anyway, uh, anyone in the congregation, if you were thinking about auditioning for a musical, if you're in a musical, have one coming up, make sure to quit. Yeah. Um, just uh, tell your director, hey, sorry, I, I'm a part of this religion where Gormu says he doesn't like this, so I'm going to have to ask for a religious exemption. Um, and I think your, your, uh, your director will probably be understanding of that. Yeah, All yeah. Alright, now it is time for you to preach your verse. Okay, let's do this. And here I go, I'm gonna look at the verse. Today's... Today's verse comes from the book Gorm Digimon 5.43. Book 5, mm-hmm. verse 43 of Gorm, Gorm Digimon. If thou struggles with sinful transgressions such as heterosexuality skinniness or being named green what the <laughs> thou must give 20 percent of thine wages to a fellow gourmite who does not struggle with these sins preferably through paypal or venmo thus says the holy gormu what that just seems mm. so spe- this is the third week in a row where it has been so specifically targeted towards me, Brother Beard. I'm so confused. It's not targeted toward. What do you mean? How is it targeted towards you? This is just a, something out of the holy book. Just because you're feeling targeted doesn't mean it actually is targeting you. That's not how holy scriptures work. No, I know, but this one is so specific. It's three things, one of which, like, the amount of heterosexual skinny greens, I mean, is only numbered. And the fact that one of the prophets falls under three of those things, I feel, is awfully precarious. Do you have any, like, are you, are you sure this is something that Gormu is telling you, or are you just trying to play games are you, in my head? No, I'm not. Are you, I'm not trying to do that. I f- don't. I feel like you're making an accusation of heresy. You always do this. I'm, I'm not going straight to heresy, brother beard. You can't, you can't use that as a, as a defense every time that I call you out on this bull crap. What do you call me out on? What? This Either I'm committing heresy or I'm not. This is the third week in a row where the verse has been. You've heard, you've been doing you've been doing visions, Gourmu visions all week, and you've heard plenty of verses. And the three that you picked were against your brother and your co-prophet. What do you have to say to that? It's not against you. How is it? Explain how this is against you. It's just saying that you struggle with sin, and so you need to give 20% of your wages to a fellow Gormite. Yeah. It doesn't have to be me, necessarily. I, I mean, it could be me, since I'm, you know, the one who's closest to you, but this is not against you. See, this is the thing. This is people, people think if they're told that what they're doing is sinful, that that means that God is against them. That's not how it works. Gormu just can't uh, be around it's these sinful so behaviors. It's so specific. It's so specific. <laughs> And it says through PayPal or Venmo. <laughs> like, why did they even add? Why, why would he even add that? I guess those are his preferred payment processors, Brother Green. I don't know. This is coming I've been from doing Gormu. his finances the whole entire week. We've been wire transferring stuff. So why would this specifically be? 
<sighs> well, maybe that means that it's not about me since I, I don't ever pay him through PayPal or Venmo, you know? No, well, this is what this is the how you need to pay the other uh, fellow Gormites. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this sir, this basically means God, how am I supposed to preach this? You know, brother Beard, I think I think you know my my opening prayer was pretty rough. I I had a rough go at it, you know, with you about this stuff. I think I think we ought to just. We ought to just pass this sermon for the week because, you know, I just want to... It feels like there is some subtle uh, incl- like insinuations that you think this verse didn't actually come from Gormu. Oh, um, but, don't be like you that. Know, we, no, no, no. We can we can discuss it later. I'll, uh, I'll give you my PayPal and Venmo and then we can talk about it. The only reason why I'm okay with that is because I'm excited for the next segment... <laughs> of the service it's your favorite brother beard you love this segment you tell him tell him what it is heretic of the week (laughs) yes every single week we are calling out one heretic who goes against gormism and the mighty gormu and we we shame them for their actions and today you brought a great heretic for us today uh would you like to read it for everybody all right so this heretic says I honestly think the podcast would be better if you guys dropped the Gormu bit and just did a regular podcast. It's a little annoying, and I thought the podcast would be about you guys, not this weird religious stuff. So what, any person that is really passionate about their religion just shouldn't be that religious? You know, what are you going to do, ask a Buddhist person to stop being so Buddhist? To stop worshipping Buddha so much? Not that they worship. Bu- I don't know how how it works over there. I'm sorry. I'm so focused on gourmetism that I'm. Kind I don't of, think they worship. Buddha, I don't think they worship. Um, him. But I don't understand why. Why do you feel entitled to a podcast from us where we aren't talking about our religion? There are if you. There are literally millions of podcasts that aren't about Gormu, and this yep. is the one podcast that is about Gormu, and you come in and spread hatred, and you want it to and, not and be about Gormu, like, and to insinuate that this is a bit, that this what is some sort of. Com- I think a bit. Uh, I think it means it's a, a comedic oh. something. It's a no. that, that we're doing this in a some sort of satirical lampoon no. of religion that is meant to be taken as sarcasm, and that this is all completely, you know, ridiculous. And the whole point is that like we're making fun of religion through creating a fake religion. I think that might be what they're implying, but that is obviously completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What the hell are you even thinking? As Gormu would say, seriously, what the hell were you thinking? You know? Yeah. What? Um, also, I it, it is just so entitled to just be like, I want a podcast that what like I thought this podcast would be you guys talking, but it's not. So I'm mad. What What do you want us to do? Stop? If you want a podcast of us just talking, then just I don't know, take two of our videos <laughs> and just mash them together. <laughs> Uh, and you can make your own podcast. Yeah, can someone post a video and send it to us of, like, the Mr. Beard and Nick is Not Green podcast? Like, the, your classic, like, two guys in a podcast podcast. It's like, the Mr. Beard and Nick is Not Green podcast, and it's just 16 minutes of just our audio <laughs> clashing with each other. <laughs> and just, it's, it's just, but it's just the camera the whole other. time. Yeah, they just put the cameras next to each other while we're talking and put the line down the middle. Honestly, everyone in the congregation, what would you prefer? Would you prefer us sitting and talking about like, oh, did you hear what happened with fucking Miskiff and and uh, XQC and and uh, uh, Pokimane? Or would you rather have us sit here and say, Gormu came into our hearts Gormu came into our minds. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. Holy crap. I mean, I think I speak for everyone and say that we would rather have that. I don't want to talk about Mitch Kiff. I don't want to talk about FLC. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about, you know, no. any of those people. It's just, it's, it's a whole load of malarkey. It's a, bu- it's a big nothing burger at the end of the day. And Gormu would hate if we spent a bunch of time just talking about ourselves. You and I are not interesting. Gormu is interesting. I don't have anything yeah. to say. If you want to watch us talk, as fuck, honestly. yeah, we're talking all the time online. We don't need to talk more about stuff that isn't about Gormu. Most of the internet is filled with non-Gormu stuff. So what? You're gonna go around to all the stuff that's Gormu stuff and then tell people to stop talking about Gormu? And not only is it a bunch of malarkey, I would also say uh, I would also dare to say it's a bunch of baloney. Yeah, I'd follow suit with that. That's that's for sure. 
I just yeah. I, I I'm sick of people on the internet acting like they're entitled to having us make the content they want, and whether that be on I this know, podcast or on YouTube. It's like the amount of comments that I'm sure you get and that I get about people who are just like, I want you to be a different YouTuber. It's like, what? This is all about us and Gormu, not about you, the viewer. Sorry. Yeah. So, so I back think it's off. time. Uh, Sorry, let me add in a little. So back off. Sorry about that. Now go ahead. I think, uh, I think it's time to shame. 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 shame, 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 shame. shame. Wow, that felt good. Woo! Yeah. Wakes me up. Wakes me up for mm. the last part of the last part of the service, which is gonna be good today. I'm super excited. We got some exciting confessions this week. It is oh, you already said the word. How am I supposed to put up the title card now? It is You can still put up time the title card. For confessions. Woo! Confessions. Confessions. Hell yeah. Um today we're going to talk about the things that you confess to the church by emailing covenantconfessions at gmail.com and confessing your sins to us so we can purge you of all of your sinful behavior. Okay, we have a lot of sins that Sister Sid is is rolling through and she's delivering us the best ones to talk about every single week. And after the show, if you go to patreon.com slash FC podcast, you can find all of the bonus episodes where we do even more confessions and we really open up there. We really do. We really, we really oh, yeah. open up. Oh yeah, we do. we're gonna open up things on there that you didn't even think could be opened. Oh yeah, you're gonna look at you're gonna look at us and you're gonna think I thought that was surgically impossible. Oh yeah, things will bust wide open at this church. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you ready for some some epic confessions? This one is called Invisible Principle, brother. Invincible principle. Invincible. Oh, okay, I was like, wow, this is gonna be crazy. The invincible principle. It's like a rhyme. Brothers, I went to a really stuffy and toxic private Christian school from preschool through high school. I loathed that place. Sorry about that. I, I, a little bit of a tongue twister. I loathed that place, especially by the time I got to high school. I had a really good reputation with teachers and administration, though. So I got away with a lot of shit because they didn't believe I was capable of the things I was doing in order to destroy that place from the inside out. Jesus, this is a super villain that goes to this school? What the hell is going on? Yeah, this is like their origin story. I never did anything illegal like vandalism. I was much more subtle. This brings me to probably the worst thing I pulled off in my senior year. From my 7th to ninth grade year, we had this principal who sucked. He was really creepy and problematic, but he was also just a weird guy overall. Everyone in our school made fun of him, which I guess is common for most high schools. At the end of my freshman year, he was let go because all of the teachers had this weird beef with him and basically demanded he be fired. This only contributed to the lore that continued throughout my time in high school, even well after he was gone. A lot of setup for this. This is going to hopefully this payoff is big. Well, not that I want them to do a huge sin. I sure hope they did something really terrible (laughs) so we can be very entertained. (laughs) Well, listen, at the end of the day, you know, repentance isn't just about purging your sin. It's also about, you know, how Gormu reacts to it. And if he has a good time mm-hmm. listening to your story, he's more likely to F with you once you get to his house. And so that's, yeah. that's the end of the story, you know? If Gormu gets bored, you know, he might be less likely to forgive you. That's mm-hmm. just kind of how it goes. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. This brings me to my senior year. I don't know what came over me, but I thought it would be a really funny joke to convince a few friends of mine that he died. I really committed to the bit. I found his daughter's Facebook page and photoshopped a (laughs) fake obituary for him and edited it to look like she posted it with the caption, I am sad to announce that my father passed away this week. Rest in peace, daddy. You will be missed. I've attached the fake Facebook page, but on screen, I still have ties to the school and my family could potentially get in some hot water if this gets back to me. So we can't don't show we can't show the photo. But but we but we uh, we both we can are see, looking at it. <laughs> we can see the holy the holy photo right here. And, yep, <laughs> it's wild. I mean, it, it's pretty legit. It's pretty. It's very legit. <laughs> this seems like something that someone would post on Facebook. Yeah, that's pretty hilarious. I showed it to my friends one night, and they totally believed it. I let it play on for a few minutes. Wait, 
Oh, the bit. I thought I thought they like let the bit play on. I thought they they, were, they made like a video, like a slideshow, and they were showing everybody. Oh, so now you know what bits are. Oh, grow up, brother beard. Just grow up. What if I was doing a bit back then? <clears throat> a bit when you weren't pretending to not know what bits are? Yeah, <laughs> that's like 40 chess. Wow, okay. But now I'm doing a bit on top of that, pretending like that's not actually what I did, when in reality it's actually what I did. <laughs> I let it play on for a few minutes and then told them I was just messing with them. We all had a laugh and then I soon forgot about it. A few days later, however, rumors began to spread all over the school that our ex-principal had died. People were even speculating the cause and most people said they heard it was pills. Probably because that was what I told my friends had happened. Jeez, that is so... Dude, what are you doing? Why are you telling them? Why would you say it was because of pills? That's so awful. Yeah, that's really like, come on, just say cancer or something. Don't, uh, don't imply yeah, what? that so he had a substance abuse on top of it. It got really out of hand, and by the end of the week, the entire school believed he was dead. It was the only topic of conversation. It got to the point where the other teachers were all sad because the man that they had fired had died. One of the teachers called her husband during class, and he DM'd our principal on Facebook, asking if everything was okay to see if he would get a response. He didn't, which only made people believe the rumors more. <laughs> oh, no. I was starting to get nervous that people would inevitably find out he was very much alive and well, and also that I was the one who started the rumor in the first place. Thankfully, things died down after a couple weeks, and everyone forgot about him, including me. That is. So you just <laughs> you just let the rumors yeah, spread. Yeah, everyone was you everyone like, yeah, he's dead. He's gone. I guess he's dead. Well, whatever. That is, however, until he fucking came back. One day during the end of the school year, he just showed up walking around the halls like Jesus Christ returning from the dead. People were losing their shit and everyone was really confused about the whole situation. Thankfully, I graduated a few months ago without ever getting caught. That is, that's pretty hefty sin. Maybe he actually did die and actually did come from, back from the dead. And maybe Gormu actually resurrected him uh, as punishment for your sins. Brother Beard, Never that's, a, about that's that? a crazy thing to claim. <laughs> it's just wild. <laughs> that's a lot to say, but anything's possible. It could. That could have be, be what had happened. What, what, are, what are your thoughts on this? Why don't I throw it to you? I think the bit, uh, you know, pretending that someone died, <laughs> not good thing to do, but kind of, you know, it can be kind of funny if you just do it for a second. Uh, the fact that you just let the rumor spread, you didn't bother to actually clarify that he wasn't dead, you just allowed the rumor to spread that he had died of pills, which, uh, very disrespectful to this up. man. I mean, they said he was problematic, so, I mean, obviously problematic people, uh, gives you full right to just pretend that they died of pills. No, it does <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, if he was like a horrible, horrible person who had like yeah. I don't know, like uh, abused people or something, then I'd be like, oh, fuck this <laughs> Jeez, guy, man. you know. <laughs> but we don't know. No, we don't, we don't know, know how anything. bad of a person he was. Um, just don't. Yeah, don't do this. Don't do obviously. it again. But I do think overall, like, pretty successful prank as far as pranks go. Like. That's yeah. pretty nuts that they all just thought he died and then he went away and then he just like showed up one day and was walking the halls. <laughs> it definitely seems like one of the pranks out of like the office that yeah, sounds yeah. so ridiculous that it couldn't actually be real, but then it actually is, I guess. But I mean, the photo checks out, so, you know, I'll buy it. Uh, you know, I buy it, and I think we can forgive this, you know? Yeah, I don't know if he would forgive it, but, you know, we're talking about Gormu here, and I think Gormu, uh, yeah. I think Gormu would forgive I it. mean, I can't say his name. <laughs> I was going to say his full name. You can just bleep that out. You can just bleep that out. Um, but This guy. This guy, I don't know if he forgives you. I, I think you did a wrong thing, but in terms of forgiveness... You know, you've remorsed, and you were young, and it's kind of funny, too. <laughs> Besides the pills part, that was a little weird. But the actual act of making the fake Facebook post is pretty hilarious. Yeah, I think it's the fact that you just let it uh, go on, and you didn't have the integrity to yeah. tell everyone, like, hey, I made this up. But also, um, like, if the whole school started talking about it, do you think you'd really step up at that point? Like, you'd be risking a lot. You would think that the rumor would have... 
like been debunked super yeah, quickly right? like that someone would have just texted this guy it's very weird that somehow this rumor was just allowed to spread for so long also it says the wife's name in the facebook post so wouldn't people look up the wife to see if it was real since this was like yeah but i don't think they showed anyone this fake facebook thing i think it's just that it got spread as a rumor because of the friends yeah you know at the end of the day if people are spreading fake stories gormu will destroy them you know so mm -hmm. and by destroy them i mean you know yeah he just won't fuck with you but anyways i think at the very end of this we can both say you are forgiven. forgiven praise be praise be praise be we've got a forgiveness this time all right this is the mysterious case of the invisible ding dong ditcher last time it was invincible and this time it's oh, invisible nice so wow. we do have invisible stuff i'm not that crazy nope you're not uh fully gone good evening to the covenant and to gormu <laughs> it's early sunday morning <laughs> <laughs> it is good morning very early when, Sunday when they morning. sent it it was probably an evening so we're we'll yeah whatever that. i have come looking for confession from a story that happened at the age of 10 and though i am currently 19 this memory still haunts me as i feel it doesn't align with gormu's vision <sighs> i'm really appreciating that they're bringing up gormu in this uh um, yeah this is nice feels like they have some understanding yeah. of like what gormu's looking for and what he likes and i feel like that's a really important part of getting to gormu's house and being accepted yeah i'm already kind of leaning towards forget i feel like we don't even need to read it i'm feeling Should like you're forgiven skip this one <laughs> they like murdered someone <laughs> <laughs> like gormu wouldn't like oh, yeah. that and we're like you're right you're forgiven yeah gormu doesn't like jumping to conclusions no he doesn't one night at 10 p.m i was laying in bed on a weekend all the noise of adults being up made me jealous and i felt <laughs> as though i needed to get involved somehow so it's just noise of adults being up and <laughs> i guess yeah, making FOMO. noise my bedroom being positioned next to the living room made this plan easy to execute i knocked on the corner of my room closest to the front door and then quickly tucked back into bed i knocked on the wall closest to the back door and laid back down my parents then went to the back door so on and so forth and this continued on and off for an hour and a half what this event <laughs> so they they just kept running back and forth knocking on different parts of the from 10 p.m to 11 30 p.m they were just doing this <laughs> what did they not get bored i mean that's crazy i guess they just really wanted to fuck with their parents okay um this eventually resulted in my parents calling the police to secure the premises of our trailer <laughs> in oh. the middle of a trailer park they live okay. in a trailer park that makes a lot more sense okay wow i like that run reveal. back and forth and knock on the yeah Epic reveal. Uh, epic trailer reveal. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're not talking about movies. He looked under the tarp in our yard and under our cars slash house just uh, before just leaving because there was nothing he could do. The fox was in the hen house. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like... <laughs> The fox was in the hen house. I think that that sounds like a southern uh, phrase. That's like that the I calls might not are coming from within the building, you know? Yeah. The calls coming from, yeah, yeah. Or in the house. The fox or was in the hen house. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing he could do. The fox was in the hen house. That's crazy. <laughs> the murderous fox yeah. had already entered. After about 10 minutes, the knocking continued because at the age of 10, I didn't understand when to stop. <laughs> so you saw that the police had been called and you're like, all right, back to knocking. Here we go. My parents were tired and just wanted to go to bed. At some point, they came to the conclusion that the only way this ding-dong ditch could be physically possible was if it was being strategically played out by the twins down the street. Also, you're inside I of a trailer. I was going like to say, why would they the not parents just check be, if you were the one why doing Why wouldn't it? they think that... Yeah, I feel like if you're in a trailer and you hear knocking, I feel like you'd be able to tell if it came from inside or outside. Am I crazy about that? I guess maybe not. Wait, so, okay, this is just bizarre. Well, listen, so they let me go back for a second. While listening to my yeah. parents open the door and look around, I knocked on the wall closest to the back door. Yeah, you'd be able to hear the person knocking from in the thing. Just because you knock yeah, on the back door. Yeah, they were knocking door. from inside, yeah. I just... But also, this is, like, such a specific story that I'm like, what? <laughs> this, how could someone <laughs> There's ever no make way this someone up? made this up. Because it, no, it, it no, gets no. even more specific. But yeah. I don't understand this at all. So they, they think the ding-dong ditch, the two boys in the neighborhood... Um, at this point, I'm more just... Uh, 
I'm taking your side because I'm like, how could the parents have been this like yeah. dumb to not check that it was you doing it or think maybe it's coming from inside? <laughs> yeah, maybe the fox was in the hen house. Maybe the fox is in the hen house the whole time. Yeah, because if I had a child, that would be my first thought is, oh... My 10-year-old child's knocking on the fucking walls. Yeah, that right. Two boys known for being in trouble in the neighborhood. <laughs> this caused my mom to go to their house. She yelled at their mom until she apologized for her sons who were laying in bed the whole time. None of this makes any I, I sense. Feel, I feel like your parents are the ones that really need to confess uh, for this sin if they are just jumping to this conclusion and going and screaming at some other mother. Yeah, if this story is real, your parents sound like like weirdos. <laughs> and you sound like a yeah. weirdo, too. <laughs> I know this was nine years yeah. ago, but, you know. Yeah, at this point, I'm thinking your parents need to write into the Covenant Confessions and confess. Yeah. About three days later, three tires on our 87 Volvo were slashed. There were eggs splattered all over one side of our house, and for some reason, there were seeds all over our gravel and porch. This required a lot of cleaning up and put one of our cars out for a few weeks. Worse than that, there was a small scuffle in court which was resolved without lawyers or fees <laughs> at all. What is going on? <laughs> a scuffle between who? My parents still don't know about the incident and I have yet to tell my friends. So are they saying that like <laughs> maybe what is going maybe on? <laughs> Maybe they pissed off those twins by, like, coming and yelling at the mom. So the twins were like, oh, okay, well, if you think we're causing trouble, then we're actually going to come and cause yeah. trouble. That's what I'm thinking happened here. Yeah. It says, and for some so, reason, there were seeds all over our gravel and porch. Part of me is wondering if, like, now it's becoming too specific. <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> no, I feel like this definitely happened. There's no way this is made up. I'm just confused, like, the 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 logistics of it all. Maybe if this person can send in a video with the outline of their uh, the inside of their trailer and where they knocked yeah. and maybe show a picture of their parents, we can get an understanding of the We're layout gonna for all some, this. going to need some schematics. Definitely send us a satellite shot of the yeah. area. No, I mean, it just sounds like these twins were like, Fuck you yelling at our mom, so we're gonna throw eggs and seeds everywhere. <laughs> you know, as as twins tend to do. Like they're in goddamn um, Minecraft. That doesn't make any sense. Eggs and seeds. <laughs> you grab the eggs, I'll grab the seeds. <laughs> we're gonna get them. Uh, Gormu the Almighty One, how will I find repentance from this situation? I'm too nervous to explain it to my parents, and seeing as the situation went down without any serious financial or emotional repercussions, I never found it necessary until coming to Gormu and finding this peace what must i do to gain your forgiveness gormu this has eaten at my conscience for years i don't know i feel like just being a 10 year old kid knocking on some walls just messing around that really doesn't seem like that much of a sin i mean the sin to me really is that your mom just went and like <laughs> harassed this other family based on just a a, a hunch um yeah. So I think your mom is the one who really needs to repent from this story. But as far as just being a dumb 10-year-old kid who's knocking on some walls, I think Gormu would be willing to forgive that. I think Gormu would probably find this kind of funny, honestly. Yeah, what do you honestly, think, Green? honestly, it's just a little rascal messing around, like a little kid messing around. And, you know, as long as, as long as, you know, you understand that there needs to be repentance that needs to be had and you need to be forgiven. You know, I think, I think you already understand it. I mean, from the beginning, you were already talking about Gormu's vision and Gormu loves that stuff. So I feel like it's been nine years. I think we can safely say you have been forgiven. forgiven. But, wow. um, I really think you should have your mom write into us. Um, and then we'll have to have a more serious talk because, yeah. uh, you really need to know that if you have kids and there's some knocking, it's probably coming from your kid and you shouldn't just jump to assume that it's some other, uh, other child. So yeah, that's not that's all cool. I have to say. It's not cool at all. And with that, I think that's the end of, of confessions for today's service. We are just running out of time. I, we, we need to get all of all of the members, all the Gormites out the doors so you guys can get on with your Sunday. So um, why don't we... Don't forget uh, this week, uh, give some of your money to uh, uh, someone who's fat and gay. Okay, yeah, and not named Green.
Not named Green. Yeah. yeah. And remember, um, I'm just going to list some stuff off. Remember the Patreon.com slash FC podcast. We're about to shoot the bonus episode. We're going to do two more confessions there. Um, <clears throat> woo. Just a little bit convicted right now. Um, we'll see you next Sunday morning. Remember to subscribe to be a part of the church. Check out the Instagram. Check out the Twitter community. Everything's down below. And get excited for the guest next week. It's going to be huge. I'm very excited. We will be announcing it on our Instagram um, who the guest is going to be. So make sure you check it out. And I just want to say one thing. If any of you does happen to masturbate while looking at that picture of Gormu. uh, (laughs) Why do you bring that up? I'm just saying that that's something that might happen. And I, I don't want you to feel ashamed about it. I think they should do that. I think that's probably a bad you think idea. They sh- I don't you think, think anyone should be touching that? themselves and masturbating to a picture of Gormu. I just feel like we've talked about I, I don't know. I don't know why maybe you we have a, need to bring that up. That's something we can talk maybe about in the we, bonus episode. May, maybe we have a different perspective on this, but I think it's okay. I'm going to give you the green light to do that. Okay, and I'm personally going to tell you to hold your horses, but we don't need to have, <laughs> have an aligned vision on everything, you know? We're still developing as a religion. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been having a lot more visions than you, so I think I'm more in line with what Gormus But, you know, we, we can talk about that in the bonus episode. So, yeah. Uh, all well. right, time for our um, closing prayer. Okay, here we go. Eyes open, two fingers up, and Eyes let's, open. let's go. Thank you so much, uh, Gormu Praise Be, for allowing us to come together on this Sunday morning and allowing us to praise in your name, and we got to gaze upon you we got to learn so much more about your will and about your word and about your plans for humanity and i think that is truly amazing um something that really stuck with me in my heart today was the phrase the fox is already in the hen house and i think that that can definitely apply to sin because a lot of times We think that, oh, all of our problems are being caused by other people around us, but we don't realize that really it was the fox inside of our own hen house all along. It was our sins that were leading towards the things that are going wrong in our lives. Mm -hmm. So this week, try not to place blame on other people if things are going wrong in your life. Try to realize, maybe I have a fox inside of me that's scurrying around (laughs) trying to cause me to commit heterosexual acts. And try to, you know, take out the metaphorical shotgun and blast that fox right in the fucking head. Oh, my God. Um, Praise be, Gormu. Thank you, and I will see you next week. Praise be. Thank you, everybody. Wow, thanks. Yeah, thanks, everyone. That was a very moving uh, closing prayer. And I I just want to thank you all for joining us today at the Fellowship Covenant. We will see you next Sunday. Please have a blessed week. Praise be. Grace be.